Hello and welcome to Henko Julfo. I'm Julfo. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to create a simple firework effect in Adobe After Effects. So, first of all, you're going to create a new composition. Now you can do whatever um, sort of settings you want here. I'm going to make it 5 seconds long um, and 30 frames per second and that those dimensions. Let's click OK. And then what we're going to do is click Layer, New, Solid and click OK. Now click Effect, Simulation and CC Particle Systems 2. How scintillating. Now if we just RAM preview quickly, we'll see lots of sparks flowing out of um, this little center dot here. Um, to make it look more like a firework, what we're going to do is we're going to make a keyframe. Now, to do that, click this little stopwatch here next to birth rate. Click. Now, go forward about eight frames. I think I only did five there, but never mind. Um, and take that birth rate right down to zero. Now, if we do a round preview, you can see it's more like a burst than a stream of sparks, um, which is what we want. But it's not quite finished yet. We want to make it look slightly more um, realistic. So click physics, physics, um, and change the gravity to about 0 0.2, it could be 0 0.1, 0 0.3, it doesn't matter. As long as it's around there so that sparks don't go too far away. Um, and then also change your resistance to about 10 or 11. I'm going to do 10.5 for this tutorial. That makes it so that the sparks don't go too far away from the centre of um, the emitter, which is what, what sort of um, emits the sparks, hence the reason it's called emitter. Now if you RAM preview, you can see it looks more like um, a, a, a bit of firework. There's still one more thing we're going to do though. Click on particle and change the max opacity to 50. This just makes it so that it's not quite as um, opaque. RAM preview and you can see it look um, you can see it looks more like a firework now. Now that's the um, basic firework effect achieved but we can change a couple more things mainly the colors so you can change the birth color which is what color the sparks are when they first come out of the emitter so I'm going to do a nice blue for that and the death color which is the color when they die do sort of light blue for that now we can see the firework has changed color another thing you can do is to sort of shorten that to two seconds. Um, just run preview. Yeah, that's okay. Um, and then go edit, duplicate, and you'll see we now have two firework bursts. Um, now, click on the first dark grey solid here and then click on producer there and position and click that little button there. You'll see you now have a crosshair which is where you can um, change the position of the emitter or producer. I'm going to put it up there so now you can see the firework comes out from up there where I put the producer. In fact I'm going to change the colour of this one to a red so that the two fireworks contrast each other. There you go, that looks quite nice, doesn't it? Maybe not. Um, now the last thing we're going to do is select both of the layers, they're called actually, um, and click Animation, Keyframe Assistance, and Sequence Layer. Um, duration probably be about 120 if you select 30 frames per second. Make sure overlap is selected and dissolve front layer is selected. And then click OK. And you can see it's spread them out. Um, you can put it like that. 
RAM preview and you can see one firework after the other, rather than two fireworks. So, that's um, the firework tutorial.